So the reason whites are, are doing well is because we cheated. Yeah. But if you look at the data of Asians, for example, you will find way more Asian privilege than there is white privilege. Asians make way more money than whites. They're way more educated than whites. They are less likely to experience any kind of crime than whites are. They're less likely to die at work than whites are. I mean, the list goes on. Yeah, they suffer from a different sort of um, racial stereotyping. Well, they don't suffer. They're kicking her ass. Asian, everything you can say about white privilege is more true with Asian privilege. Asian privilege, I wouldn't call it Asian privilege. Well, it fits all the criteria of white male privilege. What do you mean by that? Uh, they get better jobs. They get better educations. They don't, no one sees them as threatening. Uh, everything that you can say that whites mm. cheated to get is pr more prevalent in an Asian society. Okay, let's drop yeah. that. I guess it's not going anywhere. <laughs> How you doing? Can we talk to you for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. So uh, your, what does your shirt say there? It says America was never great. What's your biggest problem with Trump? All his views. Can you name one? He's sexist. In what sense? The fact that he doesn't support abortion and the woman's right to choose. But I think a good 50% of women in America are also pro-life. A lot of women aren't. Right, but if 50% of a group is something, then... I'd like to see those statistics. All right, well, if, if hypothetically 50% uh, of the women were pro-life, would it still be sexist to be anti-abortion? I'd really like to see your statistics. I know, but hypothetically, if I was I right... I don't go by hypothetical. Well, we don't have a computer here. We can't look it up. Yeah, so I can't answer your question. Nope. Any man yeah. who dyed his hair blonde is a freaking jerk. Okay. <laughs> freaking jerk. It, it, i got to hand it to you. It is pretty brave to uh, come here. I mean, the odds of you getting punched are pretty high. I know. Are you gay? I am queer. Oh, you don't use the term gay? You can. Well, I'm not gay. I'm bisexual. Oh, I've always been suspicious of bisexual. It seems like a phase. Oh, well. I see a lot of old bi people. Oh, well, you're pretty ignorant. The narrative in America is white people are evil, white people suck, we should be ashamed of ourselves, and I don't think we, we should are... be ashamed of ourselves. I think that we should take responsibility for the system that we've created. The best system in the world? Oh, we do not have the best system Who in the world. Who has a better system? <laughs> there are many European countries that have are much better off Oh, than you us. mean like the European countries with a higher density of whites, like Northern Europe? <laughs> uh, that's one way to phrase it, I guess. You don't mean Turkey. No. <laughs> you don't mean Eastern Europe no. with the communists. So the only time you can come up with a system that's better than America, it's a country that's more white than America. I don't I, understand. I don't know what to say to that. So. I mean... I, it, you're not supposed to say it, but one of the biggest problems with Jews is... Ow! Ow! What the... Ow! What the hell was that? Ah! It's bleeding right now. Did you mean to do it that much? It's bleeding. Such an ass. Who's up for some unleavened bread? Such and to change the subject. Ah. Um... Oh my God. <laughs> Pretty good. That was totally uh, awesome. I love. Uh, who? Well. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> answer this. Answer uh, anyway. Uh, you. Yeah. He's gonna keep going with it <laughs> to the end. I think he's really hurt. <laughs> I, I was gonna say the problem with Jews is there's not enough of them. <laughs> Gavin, would you support a Muslim American for president? Hell no. I mean, if I was a feminist, I wouldn't be putting up white supremacy stickers. I'd be putting up stickers saying, "Get Sharia out of America." or we don't want your burqas here, or honor killings are dishonorable. That's a good one. Burqas and hijabs, people can wear that. That's a religious expression thing. That's not. Is it though? Yeah. Okay, if the burqa is just religious ex expression and it's perfectly fine, why is it black polyester in the Middle East? Why are you in a bin bag, as Billy Conley puts it? Why isn't it flowing white gauze? or a fresh cotton. It's clearly meant to punish the woman and make her suffer. And it impairs that. your vision. 
it's a form of oppression. But feminists in the West seem more concerned about high heel shoes, which women wear as a choice. But a burqa is not a choice. It's illegal not to wear one in all over the Middle East. Sharia yeah. law dictates a woman cannot show her body. He doesn't have time for racism either. If he's looking at a resume, okay, this is a new accountant. Oh, good. He's going to save us a quarter of a million dollars a year in tax. Oh, my God. He's that smart. And he's only asking for 150 k Well, the guy's a living profit machine. Of course I'm going to... Oh, he's a black man. Minimum wage? Minimum wage jobs. You're not supposed to raise a family at McDonald's. You may not be supposed to be, but there are too many people that that is their only option. Oh, because illegal aliens have crowded out the not market. Not just that. Well, 15 million illegals working cheap has surely affected... Oh, yeah. The bottom sure. line. So I think if you're concerned about wages and the working class, you should be fighting illegal immigration. Okay. Are men being discriminated against? Yes, clearly. I mean, the data shows it from danger in the workplace to alimony payments to all these perpetual myths that like women make less money than men. And we accept it because we can take it on the chin. We're very nice guys. But I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of the way we're portrayed in sitcoms. I'm getting sick of the way fatherhood is trivialized and single motherhood is put on a pedestal because it's bad for America. When men actually petition for child, or um, I'm sorry, for custody of their children, they're very likely to get it. What? That's actually not true. That actually is. That is total <laughs> bull****. It's a man at a woman's march putting on an American flag hijab. I mean, I think this has to be a t-shirt. What the hell? Do Muslims even want men to wear hijabs? Isn't that blasphemous to their culture? If you went to Saudi Arabia and you said, Hey, dude, look, I have a hijab on. Solidarity with women of America. He, he'd blow himself up right next to you. I, I don't understand it. And I have a sneaking suspicion, by the way, that these women are not Muslims. They just learned how to do a hijab and they're doing everyone up. Like totally irrational. going to Beijing. And there's this myth that they hate us because of our foreign policy or something. They hate us because we're infidels and the Quran says destroy all infidels. Who's harder on Muslims than Muslims? They're totally insatiable. I mean, you can have a burqa on in Saudi Arabia and some guy's going to come up and go, really? Purple socks? Yeah, Are you, you kidding me? You have Shocking. A uh, statue that was uh, at a college near Boston. I think it's Wellesley. Uh, this, this sculpture is called the Sleepwalker. And People noted that it made them feel unsafe, yes. Students at the school argued that it made them feel unsafe to see this naked man who is sitting there frozen. He can't get you. He's a statue. But no, these social justice lefties are just ugly, crappy, unfun people who don't know how to appreciate the finer things in life. It reminded me of women in the workforce where they would say something and you sort of go, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Anyway, let's get back to having a great time being hilarious. It turns out that if you put all the various possible spellings of Muhammad together, it is the most common baby name in England and Wales. England is lost. Push it out into sea. We had a good fight and it's over now. We can only hope we don't mimic that same failure here on our border. There it, is, it is out at sea. There is one. No, no, it's yeah. got to go straight. Go, go further out Straight the, the bottom <laughs> off okay. so it uh. floats. <laughs> Most women are happier at home. They are pretending that they like working and they're not making money because they don't stay all night at the office. They don't go the extra mile. Why they don't work all here? weekend. I'm You're making a mistake. Here? You would be much happier at home with a husband and children. Oh. I don't know why this is such a popular trend, emotion-based politics. Maybe it's because women are getting involved in politics or maybe they want to get young people more involved. I think it's just business. The New York Times wants as many people to read it as possible. So they go on this heartstring, this disingenuous information just to make a sweet sort of kid story. But I mean, it's, it's not sweet, but the, every article they have has this sort of Oprah tint to it. But if you don't pay tax, you can't vote. That was what my father always said. Really? I've just been obsessed with this recently, thinking, you're not a customer. You don't have a say in how this right. restaurant goes. That's like strangers coming in off the street, homeless men, right. and saying, I want this on the menu, and then walking out. Now it's his Everyone year. has to be involved in politics now. So women are on board, and they have to have an opinion, and young people have to have an opinion, and they don't belong in the political discourse. It's like Dungeons and Dragons. Everyone has to be in Dungeons and Dragons now, and they're throwing these 14-sided die going, Bernie Sanders, yeah. 
What are they doing here? Both are poorer than a gap like this, where the rich are rich, where the poor are richer, but the gap is bigger. Would you rather have both down here than a big gap with the poor slightly higher? I think it would make for a healthier society. To be down here. To be closer to equal, yeah. And do you think the government's role is to regulate that and impose it on the society? To some extent. So you're a socialist. I wouldn't say that, but I believe in some socialist ideals. Have you ever been to the DMV? Yep. These are the people, these bureaucrats with no interest in being there, these rude, lazy morons are going to be handling your justice. You're imparting your freedom and your liberty and your equality. You're saying, hey, can you run my life, please?